Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, we are going to be jumping into a full face of e.l.f. today, and I'm so, so excited just to sit down, hang out, do a drugstore full face. These are my favorite videos to film, well, one of my favorites. These, Shop My Stash, which I do, actually you'll be seeing one of those coming up here in the next week or so, so subscribe and stay tuned. But before we get into today's video, I did just want to sit down with you guys, and I wanted to apologize for a couple of things. I know a lot of you are going to be like, girl, you don't need to apologize, but I do. I, this past week, A, I was wasn't feeling well but even besides that I went through and I changed a ton of camera settings and the content that I put out last week was so grainy the colors were so off and I just wanted you guys to know I am very very sorry I was trying to make it better and at this point I hadn't seen how bad a lot of that footage was until I was filming it to put it up the next day and so I just wanted to say you know I was kind of in a spot where I was like do I put it up do I not and I felt like a lot of you regardless of how grainy it is you would have wanted to see it um is it my favorite work not by a long shot but I just wanted to apologize and let you guys know going forward today is Monday obviously when you guys are watching this and I am going through right now I have reset everything to the way it was so my camera lights my camera settings everything is back so my whole goal when I was going through and changed them for what you guys were seeing last week is I was trying to make it better and it just didn't work so I will be going through and still changing and tweaking and my goal with this week is just to get it back so you guys can watch it in 1080 if you want to because last week all of the videos I put up you could only watch in 480 so they were super great and just the quality was just horrible and I know again a lot of you guys don't care or you're here for me and I really do appreciate it but I feel like my side of that is to put out content that is as good as I can possibly make it and given my 500 and some other videos that do not look like that we all know that that's not the best it could be so I just wanted to apologize and I wanted to say thank you for still loving and still supporting and still watching all of those videos because it is really important to me that as my channel grows and as this entire community of people grows it's important that we are able to be there for each other even when things aren't ideal and so I just wanted to let you guys know that I do genuinely appreciate it I hear your feedback and I love you for still being here so anyways guys we're just gonna dive in I have a ton of elf hello I ordered a bunch from their website and I wanted to for this video I pulled a couple of the favorites that I have from elf but I really wanted to play around with a lot of the new stuff they've came out with because I haven't played with any of it and I was like <laughs> I need to girl so we're gonna dive into that and uh, we're just gonna have a good time oh I love this packaging you guys this is the first thing we're gonna get started with this is the hydrating primer serum and this a bottle looks so friggin luxe what does this say here dehydrated skin question mark don't know her <laughs> I like this already. This multifunction primer serum is hydrating, lightweight, fragrance-free, and helps plump and prime your skin for makeup application. And let me just do a little dropper on my hand here. Let's kind of get a, a feel for it. It's just a light oil. It reminds me of like a really wet, like where water meets oil. It's thin like water and lightweight like water, but it has a very, very light um, oil emolliency to it, so you can still kind of feel it glide and hydrate the skin. That's really nice. Go ahead and I put a drop on each quadrant here, 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 here. I'm just gonna lightly kind of work and blend that into the skin now for those of you that are new here I am normal to oily so I do want to go on the lighter side with this but I also want to give it like a fair shake to see how it sits on my texture so I just went ahead I rubbed those drops in and I've just been letting it sit here for about 20 or 30 seconds I really like how nice and light this feels on the skin and I'm really interested to see how this wears it feels really nice all right so for foundation I'm gonna be using their elf flawless finish foundation this is their little glass bottle here this is in the shade Lily and it says fairest fair with golden undertones we're gonna shake her up girl because otherwise hmm, we know how that goes we're gonna have some chunky foundation honey I don't like chunky foundation I like chunky soup I do not like chunky foundation oh my god you like peel off this little thing to unseal it I like this okay let's open it oh <laughs> did y'all just see that struggle I'm like Argh! it was all you gotta do is pull the cap off page Wow. All right. So we have a pump, which is really great. Let's see what this color is here. Again, I grabbed the shade Lily. Oh, girl. That is real light. Okay. Oh, I just went ahead and grabbed a mirror and everything, and this is still in the exact same spot. So it's definitely a little bit on the thicker side, which I'm not mad at. And I'm going to be pressing this into the skin using the e.l.f. Total Face and Body Sponge. God, that is that's really light. Okay. So we're just going to have to make sure we bronze. All right. Let's kind of work this on. Oh crap. <laughs> Every time, guys. Every time. That's all right. Who cares, guys? We can fix it. We've seen me fix this multiple times. For those of you that are new here, I almost always have the wrong shade of foundation, and it's just my goal in life to make it better. That's that's all I try to do. I just do my best. Live it. What are you going to do? 
not about ready to let my life be stopped by the wrong shade, that's for sure. So guys, I have to say, this is giving me a really nice natural look to the skin. Now this is where it's going to get interesting because for concealer, I have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is in light sand and I have to tell you, obviously this is not a first impression, y'all. I love this stuff so much. I feel like the e.l.f. Concealer is so beautiful, but it is not going to work for this eye look. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go in with a very light amount of it and I'm going to basically use this um, to add a little bit more color to the rest of my skin. Like I'm just going to very lightly kind of dabble it on my face and I'm going to use this concealer shade to deepen up this this foundation just a little little bit. Actually guys, that looks really pretty. I feel like obviously we're going to have to bronze quite a bit, but I, the overall tone I'm quite happy with. I think it's coming together and just that little bit you can see a lot more warmth to the skin, which is good. Now to set the face, I actually have another product I've never used before. This is the e.l.f. Matte Setting Spray in the shade Light and I'm kind of excited to test this out. Now it does appear to be one of those um, more high def or silica powders. Hello? This also appears to be a pretty warm undertone so I have a feeling this will give me actually a little bit more color to the skin as well. So this powder is definitely nice and thin. The way it's kind of settling into the skin on my hand here is giving me a nice smoothing effect. Now a lot of times this is the top kind of powder and I told you guys this several times in the past um, that I don't typically set my entire face with. Normally I need like a Maybelline Fit Me or even the Hourglass Translucent. I need something with a little bit more ass to it but we're gonna go ahead set the face and see how this looks. So I'm gonna set my under eye first pat out the creases and then do the rest of the face with a powder puff just to get a really nice light veil. Okay, so I got the face all settled down, and I will say that after setting the foundation, I do notice a substantial loss in coverage. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it did take what I was considering about medium coverage, took it down to, I would say, a light medium, because I still have some coverage, but a lot of these little guys kind of popped out. Now, that could be the powder I set it with, that could be the foundation, I'm not entirely sure. But all of that aside, we are going to move into bronzer now, and this is one of my favorite items from e.l.f. This is their Sun Forever Sun Kissed Bronzer. I love this so much. Much. I've used it a ton on my channel. Y'all have probably seen it, and uh, for those of you that haven't, it is good. And as soon as I can find a brush, I will show you how good it is, girl. Yes. Ooh, this is a good brush right here. This is the BH Cosmetics number one brush, and this is from their uh, festival collection. I did a full video review. I will link it up here. Beautiful, bright, bright ass look that I did with the palette that came with this collection. So, so good. Definitely go check that out if you love like a really nice, bright, colorful look. But I'm going to take this and I'm just going to dive in to this bronzer here. I'm going to bronze up the skin. Oh girl, she's, she's pulling a little bit more yellow than I thought she would on camera, but that's okay. I really do love this bronzer. It's so pretty. Like, I feel like that's another thing too that happened when I was going through this past week of editing and whatnot. Bronzer on my forehead for some reason kept looking so patchy. Like in real life, it looks so nice and smooth, but on camera, girl, did not look nice or smooth. It looked real chunky. And I was like, hello, do not mess with my forehead bronzer. Yeah, at this point, I'm thinking the undertone on the skin that I'm really not liking is actually the powder that I set my face with that yellow undertone is actually mixing with the undertone of this bronzer and it's pulling really orange kind of in like real life at least that's what I'm seeing on the monitor oh my god Doritos and Cheetos and cupcakes galore I ate Doritos last night and I'm gonna eat some more bronze my double chin guys this is the blush I chose this is actually the only blush I think I have from elf it's in the shade always fiery and it looks so intimidating yes I know but let me just tell you on the face it is so beautiful. Now you do have to go in with a light hand, but the overall hue of this, if you're wanting to go like fall, monochromatic, like nice sunset kind of vibe on the eye, this looks so beautiful. I'm gonna use this guy. This is my No Name Morphe brush. It's just a really nice fluffy Morphe. It's not like the E4. It's more dense than that, as you can see. Um, it's very stained. I've had this for quite some time, but I really love this, and especially when I'm going in with a more intense fiery type shade like this, because the buoyancy of this, I can really kind of go in. That's one tap, by the way. We tap it off and then we're going to go in and wow, there's so much on there. And then we're just going to go in and I am barely touching my face. And as you can see, you get quite a bit of color. So I'm just lightly tapping both cheeks and applying it with this. I'm going to hit a little bit on the forehead temple, a little bit on the chin right here tiny bit on the nose. Now at this point, this is where I go in with my Hourglass Ambient. I know that this isn't something e.l.f. has. There is no dupe for it. You don't have to do it um, if you don't like to or if this isn't your thing, but wait until you see how perfectly 
this hourglass powder just buffs that blush around and that's one of the reasons that I love this palette from hourglass so much is because it does such a beautiful job at really blending colors together and almost infusing them with the skin as opposed to looking like these weird colors are sitting on my skin you know what I mean like that blush was very intense and it's beautiful but once I go in and I really blend it out with this powder it looks just so much more natural it looks faded into the skin it doesn't look like i just stamped blush on my face which is what i really really like it looks like here i grabbed their brow pencil in natural brown which this is the white one i also grabbed their ultra precise brow pencil in neutral brown and their wow brow deep brown volumizing fiber gel guys do you see this i'm pressing so hard on my skin right now no color is coming off at all this is gonna hurt <laughs> Okay, so this is the other one. This has a much fatter tip on it here. This one feels really waxy. This is probably the better of the two, but I'm not impressed with either. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and take this guy, and I'm going to try to, like, shape out the brow a little bit. Lately, I have been into a more natural brow anyways, so... I don't know, maybe we can just get like a light kind of powder look from it. So this brow isn't bad, actually. I mean, for what it is, I definitely don't hate this. Now, if you're the type of person that you want like a super intense, harsh kind of line, I don't know that you would love this, but if you like a softer kind of brow, I do feel like you can work with this a little bit to get a softness to your brow that's really nice. Um, this is probably the closest one that I've tried as far as a pencil brow goes that's given me the feel of what I would say kind of a powder gives you, like that overall soft, super you know, lightweight, not really defined, but you can sharpen it out if you want to kind of look. So I'm not, I'm not against this actually. It looks kind of good and the color is great. Now we're going to move in to the Wow Brow Deep Brown Volumizing Fiber Gel and we're going to work that through both brows and see what it kind of gives us for color. Maybe it'll give me a little bit more definition in the front. So that gives a really nice uh, color to the brow. I just put it in this side. This side has none, but I do like the shade of this. It coats the lashes or the brows really nicely and gives them a really beautiful kind of full effect. Fact, look at those feathery brows yes I think if I shape out on the underside I think this could turn out okay this is really nice like this a lot I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this elf camo concealer in light sand and I'm going to just right here I just grab some of my hand and I'm going to use that to shape out the underside of my brows a little bit and then I'm just gonna take what's left over and use that to prime and prep the lids so now it's time to get into the palette and y'all I had to try it I've seen so many people talk about it and I was like I'm getting jealous this is their opposites attract palette look at this thing Ugh. oh my word so i just swatched a couple mattes those are so beautiful oh my gosh but i also want to swatch a couple of the shimmers just to see like if they're pretty too um who what is this character i'm playing right now i'm like uh -huh. Ooh. okay so that one is definitely the best shimmer in the palette this shade right here is really disappointing it's the shade low key right here and it's kind of supposed to be like an iridescent white to purple shift and i don't love that so far this palette like the mattes feel really really nice the shimmers seem to be a little bit lack luster bam hello excuse me why do i keep th i'm like can you guys see it no Paige, it's out of the frame <sighs> okay sorry <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to work with two colors into the crease. I want to take Saucy right here on this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH34 on the inner portion of the eye. And then I want to go in with this BH V19 brush. It's a really nice fluffy brush. And I want to go in with Cheeky. And I want to basically put those through the crease, yellow on the inner part of the eye, and then the orange one on the outside of the eye, just to kind of give us a nice light gradient on the crease. Because I don't think I want like a super crazy look, but I do want something that's going to have a little bit of like fun kind of sunset mustard yellow vibe to kind of match what my jacket has going on and just give us a little bit of fun guys those colors are so insanely beautiful number one number two the only thing i'm not loving i love that shade saucy right and it looks very yellow in pan but when i applied it to the lid it almost went from yellow to like mustard orange yellow not that i'm mad at that but something to consider um and then this shade right here cheeky which i thought would pull a little bit more orange is actually giving me more like warm pink burnt orange i'm not mad at it but again the colors in here do seem to be a little bit different from what they look to be in pan I'm not mad they still all look beautiful and as far as the actual consistency and how they're going on the eyes they are so so nice they're blending like a dream but they are giving me a little bit of kick in pan so something to also mention if you don't love that or if it bothers you for me personally when it comes to an affordable situation like this is I am never mad if I have a little kick up because if anything a little kick up usually helps them blend a little bit nicer and these are blending great so not mad about any of that the only thing I'm not loving about this is I don't want to go in with shimmers and cheapen 
in this like I kind of want to take this shade fresh right here which is just more of a like light beige color and I would love to see how that would look if I did like a cut crease but a matte cut crease which you guys know I never do I feel like that would look really really beautiful all right so I think that is what I'm gonna do I'm like just going to commit to it call it a day but I'm not gonna be using my elf camo concealer because this like I told you is more matte and I don't want it to dry down before I have a chance to set it with powder so I'm gonna go in and use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer this is in the shade Swan and this will also give me a nice bright base so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down get a good cut crease going and then go in with that shade fresh and kind of press it over top to set the concealer. I actually like that a lot more than I thought I would. Like it's yes a little darker than I wanted but I feel like it has a really nice elegant sophistication to it. It's a very like I wanted a cut crease. I wanted something fun and fresh but it's not over the top. I did by the way set it down using the Fenty. This is their 200 eyeshadow brush. It's kind of a flat fluffy packer brush. It's actually a really nice brush so I'm gonna go ahead here and uh, do the other eye but not bad. I'm just going to go back in with that V19 brush in the shade Cheeky that I have on the outer V right here. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that shade and kind of blend the outer V with that cut crease color a little bit here. I want to grab a little bit of this shade right here, the shade Sassy on that Fenty 200 brush. And I want to run that on the lower lash line. I don't want there to be anything crazy down there, but I still want there to be a nice little pop of color. So overall, thoughts on the palette. I quite like the mattes in here. They blend out beautifully. The only thing I am going to have to work a little bit more with are the shimmers just to see if they hold up as well. But the mattes that I used were absolutely beautiful. I would 100% use that again. Now for sprays, I grabbed two because for those of you that don't know, I oftentimes use two sprays, two different sprays to set my face. So I'm going to go in first with the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist in set. And it's not so much that I need a mattifying spray, but the other one is much more hydrating and I don't want to go in with too much of that. So we're going to give this one a go. Ooh, the spray is nice. Little to no smell. Okay, not mad at it. It's not a bad spray. I definitely don't think I needed to be any more matte than I already was, but the spray itself isn't bad. Um, I do feel like it kind of helped settle everything down. Let's go ahead and play with highlight because I'm so excited. Now, in my most recent, I believe it was new-ish drugstore makeup, which I will link up here. It just went up a couple of days ago. And if you don't want to watch it, it was one of the ones that's super, super blurry. So keep that in mind. Um, but this is actually kind of a continuation of that video because in that video, I mentioned the new e.l.f. highlights. And in that one, I used I think it was their 24 karat gold which I don't have sitting in front of me but it was way 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 too dark for my skin and this one was only available on the elf website and this is in the shade white gold and I was like <laughs> sounds like me so let's go ahead here we're gonna swatch it now that one I did have to kind of remove a little bit of the top layer because it's kind of baked Ooh. oh that is beautiful I think I'll just use this Sigma F06 brush Ooh, <laughs> so good. Guys, am I the only one? Like, I love a good old greasy ass lip and chin. Like, I want it to look like I didn't eat the chalupa. Like, I took that chalupa and I just rammed it on my chin and I like wiggled it around. That good old greasy chin. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, oh wow. And then I have a Rudolph nose, so that's good. See, I try to avoid the Rudolph nose, but like highlight on the tip of my nose, I just, I can't help myself. Is it ideal? Probably not, but I don't care because it's so good. Like, look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> oh my god so good so next up we're gonna go in and set the face and normally for those of you that are not new here you know I would go in with more of a normal setting spray whether that's matte or a natural finish and then I like to finish off with a little bit of a dewy setting spray but because they don't really have um, any other spray that's not that super matte one and girl I do not need to be any more matte than I already am I'm actually gonna skip that spray and go straight to this one this is their dewy setting mist with coconut now normally I'm not a big fan of a coconut spray because I believe it can cause um, what's called the closed comedones which are the little bumps all over the skin but we're gonna give it a try anyways and just see let's kind of oh that smells really nice very light coconut smell so what I want to do is spray the face and then I'm gonna go in here with my elf sponge the same one that I use to apply everything and I'm going to take this sponge and basically press that spray into my skin oh my gosh my face looks so good that just took me from like a six to a nine so quickly Oh my gosh okay <laughs> wow okay so now it's time for mascara let me go ahead here and curl my lashes right on up to mr. Jesus himself this is my tart lash curler it is so so good and then I have two different types of mascara which I guess I will do like this so first up on this eye we have the keep your curl in black okay so I'm going in with my third coat of this mascara 
and it's actually a pretty decent one pretty thin not super clumpy this one seems to be more of a mascara that will give you definition to each lash and a little bit of length but not a bad mascara like it's causing me a lot less issues than a lot of other ones I've tried recently which is nice now let's go ahead and get on to the other side this is their smudge proof mascara in black oh my god this one actually splits it up so you have an upper and a lower lash line side so let's go ahead here and take a look at the upper the upper is a straight wand and then on the lower Oh, it's a tiny, tiny little wand. Ooh. So I'm about ready to go in with a third coat on this side. And this mascara actually kind of feels like it needs the other mascara, which is really, really thin. And just kind of coats your lashes. This one gets kind of clumpy, which I'm not mad at. But it is almost clumping more lashes together and making it look really spidery. I also grabbed these two eyeliners. I have their No Budge Retractable Liner in black and in white. And let's go ahead and grab the black one and uh, do the waterline on the upper lash. Not bad. It's not the most black I've ever seen. It's kind of more black gray, but it looks nice. I'm going to hit the upper waterline first with this. I love putting black on my upper and lower waterlines. I feel like, yes, it closes off the eye, but honey, I do not care. I love it so much. Okay, so for lips, I grabbed a couple different items here. I have two of their liners. These are their lip liner and blending brush. I grabbed them in deep brown and dusty rose. I did have to press a little bit, but right there is Dusty Rose. It's a really pretty shade. Wow, deep brown is a very deep color. Wow, I really like that shade actually with this look. I think that's what we're gonna do. Guys, that's really creamy. I love how crooked my lower lip always is. Like it goes like a, it looks like a Nike swoosh mark, how they go chit check, that's my lips. It goes check, check, and it just like goes up to the sky on this side. I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. You get the lips you get. I'm not gonna be upset about it. There's bigger things in this world than my lips being crooked. You know what I mean? Okay, so I know it's looking a lot right now. I'm just going to take my finger, which, by the way, these do come with that little blender brush on this side. Buxom also does this. I don't ever use that. I would rather use my finger. I just like to go in and so much the color. Now we're gonna go in with a product from them I've never gotten to try before. These are their lip plumping glosses. I have it in two shades here. This one is... Uh, Mocha Twist. Oh, that's a beautiful color right there. All right. Mocha Twist. It does appear to have more of like a peachy mauve undertone. And then the other shade I have here is Champagne Glam, which looks to be more of just like a clear gloss type color with a golden sparkle in it. That's beautiful. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Mocha Twist. I just want to see how it looks up against this liner here. Ooh, that actually looks kind of pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to take the sparkly one and I'm going to put that in the dead center. And okay, you guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? Personally, love the way everything came together. And I might be a little bit partial, but like I love 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 a nice light eye like this and this is something that i've mentioned in several other videos and i actually was going to talk about it earlier i love leaving the eye nice and bright because i feel like a lot of times what we see on like instagram or even here on youtube people always want to go in and you always want to like deepen up that eye and make it really sultry and i don't know about you guys but sometimes i don't want my eye to be like a really deep color i want it to still have the light and the bright and like the that lack of sophistication i want it to look a little bit more fun guys i love the way this turned out i'd love to hear from you guys down below what do you think are there any other full faces you want to see there may or may not be a wet and wild one coming soon so stay tuned um but yeah i just want to hear from you guys what do you think favorites not favorites what do you love from elf what do you not love from elf the only things at this point that i can say i really did not like is first of all this powder didn't care for that at all um i feel like it's a little bit too color changing on my skin and i just didn't love like the way that the texture ended up sitting on my skin i love the concealer i'm definitely open to trying this foundation again probably mixing it a little bit and then even on the lips like the liner went on it was super nice very very creamy this gloss is really nice as well overall though those are my thoughts i want to hear from you guys what do you think tell me down below again is there a different full face you want to see i'm really into this right now i love full faces you guys have been mentioning to me a lot of other ideas as well so keep leaving those down below and you guys also don't forget while you're down there checking me out and leaving me all those comments you can scuttle on up to the description box check me out on instagram and on twitter because y'all i'm on there all the time instagram is my jam anything that's happening whether it's video related or if i'm 
testing out new products or if I'm just checking in in my day to day. Whatever it is, it'll be over on Instagram. So definitely check it out there. And if you haven't done so yet, please do not also forget you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications here to the wonderful world of YouTube because y'all, I upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. most of the time here in Northern Michigan. This past week, we had a little bit of a kerfuffle, whether I didn't feel good or things were going crazy. Y'all were there. It's normally between 6 and 7 a.m. It's nice. It's bright. It's early. We wake up together. It's a morning. We have some coffee. We do our lives together and it's a good time. So definitely don't forget, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. There is something in my eyeball. It is right there. Something in my eyeball. I think it's a cat hair. Holy bejesus, that rain. It's coming for us all. Like, oh my good word. Can you hear it? Why do I kind of love my makeup today? <laughs> Why do I love my makeup? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take here a little bit of this Elfo. Uh, Elfo. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of this Elfo. Yes, this highlight is stunning. Boom. Stunning. Also, for anybody wondering, <laughs> hello, if you ever, like, are asking yourself, Paige, are you ever going to do your hair again? I'm thinking about it, but, like, I don't want to because <laughs> every time I go to do my hair, it just looks like uh, duty caca, and I, did I just say duty caca? Oh my god. I'm back to being four again, but seriously, it does not ever look good. <laughs> and I think it's because my hair is like at that awkward in between length. And so it's just like not doing anything I tell it to do. So if you're wondering, Paige, honey boo boo, you ever going to do it? Yes, I will. But for now, just look at how cute these little, these little things are. I put them up. I love them. They're those little corkscrew things. You just like screw into your hair. What is this? Oh, also what is this? Oh my God. I thought I got rid of you.